well, it's a truth universally acknowledged that black and white is best. So here's a quick tutorial in how to get the best black and white conversion out of Photoshop. Here's an example picture. Uh, I took it just now in an art gallery. It's infected with colour. Now, one quick job I could do is desaturate. If I select image, then adjustments, and then desaturate, all I've really done is taken out all of the colour information, and I've ended up with a pretty flat result. There's a better way. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to select layer, and then new adjustment layer. And from this menu, I select Channel Mixer. Now it's offering me the chance to give my layer a new name, so I'm going to call this Mono Conversion. You can call it what you like, it doesn't really matter. I do OK. And over here on the Layers palette, you can see that I've got a new adjustment layer in here. I've also got the Channel Mixer. This is where the magic begins. To start with, I tick the Monochrome box, and I get that desaturation again. But now I'm going to start moving these sliders around. And as I do so, watch this percentage go up and down. I'm going to just tweak the red downwards a little. And that's taken much of the fierceness out of the skin tones. Now I'm going to move the blue up very slightly. There we are. Uh, and that's improve the contrast, improve the definition on the rest of the photographs, leaving the skin tones more or less untouched. Um, now, you'll notice that here, my total percentage has gone up above 100. It's not that good an idea to go too far away from 100%. Uh, so I'm going to tweak the green down very slightly until I get to 99. That's, that's absolutely fine, 27% green. Um, my background has gone more or less black, which was the effect I was after. And when I do OK, I end up with quite a nice, very quick black and white conversion. Of course, the advantage of having this as a layer is that I can turn the layer off by clicking on this little eye icon in the Layers palette. And now I'm back to where I was. And if I really don't like that layer, I can drag it to the bin. But I do, so I'll turn it back on again and continue working on this photograph. So that's a quick and easy way of doing a very decent job of desaturating a photograph.